Hey guys, this is Mark Yu here again. What's up? Last week, I got myself with the latest mid-ranger by Samsung, the Galaxy A50. And I actually popped in my DG SIM card into this uh, mid-ranger and use it for almost one week. And I have something to share with you guys, mostly pros and cons. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So if you look at the thickness of this phone, it's actually at 7.7 mm, which is very, very thin. And the weight is actually at 166 gram, which is actually quite nice in the hand. The bag is actually made of plastic, but it feels like, it feels very light, but it feels very sturdy. And also it feels a bit like glass. So that's why Samsung actually call uh, the back of the phone, it's called Glastic. And look at how they managed to actually pull off this magnificent refraction of light. So at different angle, it can actually diffract different types of lighting and different types of pattern, light pattern, which uh, actually resembles rainbow effect even though it's actually plastic for those of you who actually hate a uh, uh, curvy screen you'll be happy to know that actually this phone is actually a flat screen phone and the back is actually curvy so that it feels nicer in the hand so for the screen it's actually uh, 6.4 inch screen Super AMOLED Full HD 1080p screen So under bright sunlight You won't have any problem uh, view To view it so As you can see The screen is actually very vibrant And very stunning Very mesmerizing It looks very pleasant to the eye one thing that impressed me is actually the bezel. As you can see here, it has a very small notch and the side bezels are actually so thin. And one thing that impressed me is that the chin is so small. It's impressive that they can actually squeeze it in a mid-ranger. I have this Samsung Galaxy S Note 9. You can actually compare it the chin size is actually almost the same. One is flagship, another one is actually a mid-ranger. One thing interesting that I want to show you all is that this phone actually support Bixby. Okay, it supports Bixby. But it doesn't have a Bixby button. Okay. Similar to what you have uh, in Samsung Galaxy Note 10, you can actually map this button. Okay, normally if you press longer the, this button, it will come out this menu. But if you press this, you can actually change this as a Bixby button. Long press. And becomes a big speed button. So how is it that you want to off the phone? So you can just slide the no notification sheet and press this button and the menu will come out. So how if you want to return it, revert it back to the original setting, just press this and uncheck this. Voila, the power off menu will come out as usual. One thing that impressed me is that this phone actually packs with triple camera, which is the 20 megapixel, 25 megapixel camera, the main camera, the ultra wide camera, which is at 5 megapixel, 
and also the depth sensor camera which is at 8 megapixel so for this phone it can actually take ultra wide shot which is good for scenery taking and for the front camera it's also 25 megapixel which take very good selfie so far I'm actually quite happy with it but one thing that I want to show you is that the night mode uh, this phone actually has night mode so which is actually quite similar to the performance that you have in Samsung Galaxy S10e and also Samsung Galaxy Note 9 of course it's not as great as uh, those two flagship but it's not bad later I'll show you some samples so you actually have panorama pro mode live focus photo video super slow-mo and slow motion and hyperlapse so for a thousand ringgit phone this is actually uh, quite impressive quite sufficient so let me show you some photos so under normal lighting condition the photos taken are actually very vibrant very clear So this picture was taken under normal mode and after I activated the night mode it became much clearer. So the night mode is actually quite impressive for this phone. You can you guys can try it out if you have this phone. And the next one, what I want to talk about is actually the connection. So far, I've been using this phone to make a lot of calls and I'm happy to report that the call quality is actually very good. And this phone actually supports Vo LTE 4G Plus on DG network. And one more thing is that for you guys who like to play Pokemon Go, I'm happy to report that the GPS connection is actually very very good and it locks GPS very very fast so totally no problem even in indoor so the next one I want to share is actually the battery so this phone actually supports uh, with uh, 15 watt fast charging so which is included in the box so it actually supports uh, 15 watt fast charging so it will take under two hours, almost two hours to charge from 0% to 100%. So from my usage uh, with data always on, uh, without Wi-Fi, I'm able to get a uh, screen on time around six hours plus every day. And also the standby mode for this phone under uh, data is actually very good also. Um, over 8 hours, it can last uh, from 1% to 3% drop. Uh, I've been uh, testing this a uh, few days already. So sometimes over 8 hours, the next day in the morning, sometimes it will drop 1%, sometimes it will drop 3%. So it's actually very good for a mid-range phone. So let's talk about performance. So I've done to do benchmarking on this phone so the score is actually 143,908 which is actually not too bad for a mid-range phone and I'm happy to report that actually for gaming uh, it's quite smooth there's no lag there's no uh, drop frame let me show you
so it loads the game fairly fast I'm so into racing game. Sorry, I don't play PUBG, so I don't really know the how's the performance. But as for now, it's actually a heavy game, so I think it should support PUBG uh, very smoothly. As you can see here, it's running smoothly, no frame drop. So, so far, the things that I mentioned in this video is actually the pros of this phone. And there are some small things that I actually don't like. The first one will be the speaker. I think it's actually uh average sound i mean uh above average sound but the thing is it's actually lag based let me show you Yeah, and also it's actually one single bottom firing speaker. So if you block this, you mute most of the sound. So the sound is actually so-so, mediocre. But one good thing about this phone is that it actually supports Dolby Atmos when you actually plug in your earphone via the 3.5mm headphone jack. This is this has become a rare breed. So Samsung has decided to kill off the 3.5mm starting, headphone jack starting from the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So rest in peace, headphone jack. So you can actually activate Dolby Atmos, which actually sound very, very nice on earphone. So one more thing is that this phone in Malaysia, unfortunately, it doesn't support Samsung Pay, uh, which I actually use it quite widely with my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and S10e. So it's very convenient to have Samsung Pay. So it's actually, I don't really understand why is that Samsung actually get rid of NFC and also Samsung Pay in this phone. It's very, very unfortunate. So this is something that I don't really like. And the one last thing that I really hate is that this phone actually has a mediocre finger on, on screen fingerprint scanner. So it's very hard for you to actually hit the spot. Sometimes once you hit the spot, it would take two to three seconds for it to actually unlock. Sometimes even four to five seconds. So this is actually very, very uh, disturbing to me. I have this, um, my Redmi K20 Pro. 
can see the unlocking process is so fast it's effortless of course you can argue that this is actually a flagship killer phone but for Redmi K20 or Mi 90 the equivalent one the unlocking process is very fast also so I'm quite disappointed that Samsung actually has a mediocre on-screen fingerprint sensor but however I've done a I did a video on how to uh, increase the unlocking speed on this phone and also Samsung Galaxy A70 so you can check out my previous video on the description below so this is the end of my review if you have any question you can just ask me in the comment and if you like my effort please give it a thumbs like and also please give me some comments and please do subscribe my channel so mark yo signing off peace